There must be truth to that old wives' tale. What is it? What's the wives' tale? <laughs> What is the wife's tale you're talking well, the about? The more you uh, pleasure yourself. Uh. <laughs> Something in the water told me how to crawl. Something in the water taught me how to fall. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to another Something in the Water podcast. We're glad to have you. I'm Uncle Dave Griffin, along with Sean Clark. And we got our guest today, Miss Larissa Berg. Uh, What's up, you guys? Now, I got one question for you. Who's the prettiest one on the podcast today? <laughs> well, I think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you, honey. All right. Are, thank you so much for having you're me. You're having us. Yep. I am having you all. We're at Second Skin Tattoo Studio in Kingsland, Georgia right now. And uh, oui. we're just going to have a little bit of a podcast fun. And then uh, we might get into some business later with Uncle Dave. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Well, let, let that be the teaser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Dave, Dave's going under the gun. <laughs> I may just do this, you know. You're never too old to get a tattoo. And I'm sorry, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's all cool. So, uh, how long have you been tattooing? Yeah, uh, about four days now. Okay. <laughs> and my uh, a doctor just told me my COVID will be over with in about three days, so I think we're good. <laughs> no, but I'm in my third year now. Heck so, yeah, yeah, just in my and, third uh, year. Larissa did this one. My my back put country. It, put it towards the camera. Put on your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can find you can find pictures of it on my yeah social media. Absolutely. She's excellent. Uh, you did one for Connor too. Yes, I did mm -hmm. a while back. I did yeah. a lotus flower growing out of a beer can, and oh. it was I, it was hard. I remember tattooing it. I was scared. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. That still yeah. still looks good. So, uh, Larissa is a uh, is an excellent tattoo artist. You're an artist as well. I mean, that's, yes. did that was that your first love? Did that kind of lead you to tattooing, or? Yes, I painted murals and uh, just, of course, drew all my life in class and stuff. But I think I'm a tattooer before an artist at heart. Excellent. So. <laughs> Heck yeah. How y'all do it? Good. What's up, you guys? You, you did uh, some of the murals. I think some of them have been redone now, but yes, all, yes. on Boondocks. Yes. Bar. Um, originally, uh, I painted most of the murals at the Boondocks with another artist, Mako Havley. And over time, that salt water yeah. started like degrading mm -hmm. the murals, and so um, they were always they they looked good. A really talented yeah. gentleman recently touched them up. His name slips my mind, but Miles. they look amazing. Miles. Uh, is that the last name? Miles. I'm not sure. Yeah, it seemed like but. we were we were just discussing that uh, mm -hmm. Saturday night when we were there. Boondocks is is a very uh, popular hangout it's a dive bar uh on the Blythe island road uh located right within the uh uh city limits of brunswick is that city limits yes it's it's right off address? exit 29 yeah. matter of fact the address is 7270 Blythe island highway because <laughs> i used to bartend there that's, oh. that's what i did to get through to start tattooing actually okay. so that was yeah. my little dive bar and i love everybody up there yeah that's yes, awesome we love that wonderful place, place. yes wonderful <laughs> Uh, some of the some of the best people in the world mm -hmm. go there, and uh, we discovered it probably about two and a half years ago, and just stopping by there uh, after a gig, and uh, found it to be just so relaxing and and and, uh, and uh, friendly. Yes, the, the the natives are friendly. <laughs> it is very true blue. <laughs> Uh, once you enter the doors, you will not leave until 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> it gets older. Everybody yeah. won't know if it's daylight. Yeah. You're not mm -hmm. going yeah, to know what time it is. 
in it's, there. It's <laughs> uh, a lot of characters in there that we've come to know and love over the years. Uh, and there's uh, Randy uh, Cooper mm -hmm. is the uh, DJ, uh, karaoke, uh, karaoke DJ. And he and his brother were on a earlier podcast. Yes, I saw that. Your it was mother, awesome. <laughs> your mother was on one of our podcasts. Yes, she was. <laughs> uh, Lindy Bird. Absolutely. And well, uh, that's her. Yeah, registers here. Ed was. <laughs> yeah. Ed was there as well. Your daddy. He was off camera, but uh, uh, that was an enjoyable podcast. Mm -hmm. so, so you came from from good stock. Yes. I was very excited when y'all I saw that y'all did a podcast with Randy. I love him to pieces. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, there's all kinds of characters. We'll be uh uh we played there uh just a couple of nights ago as a matter of fact. Uh we had the uh Dwellers Ball. Now it is called the uh Toast, Toast to twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh Bash. Bash. I was thinking when I saw that, I was thinking, shouldn't it be 2024? <laughs> no, because you're toasting the year behind yeah. out. So we did that. We toasted it. Boy, we toasted it. Good gracious, we toasted it. And they will always bring out those little plastic glasses, or plastic and uh, they'll put champagne for every, oh, see, every now, New Year's. So that's yeah. a tradition at the Boondocks. Mm -hmm. I, had, bottles. I had never been there prior to two nights ago. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you had a good time. I know that. I was, I was watching you. <clears throat> Sean was uh, dancing like Elvis and Michael Jackson put together. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Pool tables. <laughs> Specials, just uh, it's just a great place. So we urge y'all to check that out if you're ever in the area, and check this place out too in Kingston because she does some mighty fine stuff. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, you didn't do yourself. I have tattooed myself, Dave, but we're just not going to go there. <laughs> that was before I was in a shop, and my mentors told me, "Don't do that. It's not a good idea. It's like we're giving, not going to do that. Giving yourself help. a haircut." Yeah. <laughs> and they, so uh, a lot of these are done by my mentors and uh, previous bosses. This is a coworker right there. I don't know if y'all can see a little sacred They're great. heart. Dang, you got tattoos everywhere, even on the inside oh, yeah. of the hand. I got and, the uh, wrist that says "Always Indigo." It's a little Black and, Angels uh, reference if beep, you know the band. Beep, beep, so beep. Oh yeah, I wanted and, uh, dots. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. But, oh, yeah. My arms are getting there, so yeah. never rush a sleeve. Yeah. Never rush a That's sleeve. That's what you call this, right? A sleeve? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, yeah. some people think tattoos should connect all the way through. Um, it's mm. personal preference. I like a little space. I like that. A little skin. Mm. I keep a little skin, okay? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> what was your first tattoo? Uh, my very first tattoo was, and I hate to say this because I tattoo Marine and Navy every day, but I got a small anchor behind my ear. Oh. Uh -huh. And then I'm not in the Navy, so as I got older, I said, I'm going to do away with this. And I got this talented artist, Robert Sanders, to cover it with a little rose. Oh, and he's okay. done a lot of my larger pieces. He's in Jacksonville, Florida. All right. He's really awesome. Cool. So it's covered, but it's still there, you yeah. know. Was... So uh, tell <laughs> us uh, the uh, the uh, weirdest tattoo you got. That I have? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> um, it would either be my marijuana nugget, a little flower <laughs> as an ode to, you know, holistic medicine there. Yeah. Or um, I have a, it's not weird, but it is a naked lady. I have a Sailor Jerry pin up. Okay, cool. Um, gosh, I don't have too many super weird ones. Uh, I always have coworkers trying to put like funny, like weird tattoos on me, you know, like a flaming banana. And I'm like, no, <laughs> we're not going to do that. So, <laughs> I have a lot of traditional tattoos, nothing super crazy. How many do you think you have in all? Oh God, I don't know, Dave. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, we're going to the back. I'm going to count them. I don't know, like eighty. I don't know. I haven't checked. <laughs> That's cool, though. So. Well, uh, 
Yeah, I would figure a person that works in a tattoo parlor to have tattoos. Yes, and I mean, not many of us count how many we have, <laughs> just so you all know. <laughs> well, today uh, I'm going for a small arm tattoo and uh, a pierced navel and uh, probably a... Uh, um, Flaming banana. <laughs> Flaming banana? <laughs> so, uh, thinking about possibly uh, adding a Prince Albert in there too. Oh. Just to make it uh, uh, yeah. a package. A package deal. <laughs> yeah, we also do. A lot here. of first today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. So tell us about, uh, let's see, you were, you were born in North Georgia. Yes. In yes. Fulton County. Fulton County. <laughs> that is correct. And then you, you just made your way. I made my way down here. So uh, around 2011, like, I was basically a little kid still, like, 17, you know. So I uh, traveled down here to go to college at the College of Coastal Georgia. I wanted to be an occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just recently tattooed my old roommates from the island, and they said, we remember when you told us you were going to be an occupational therapist. And we just went to our room and shut the door and said, hell no, she's never going to be that to be a tattoo artist. <laughs> so yeah. That's how, what brought me down here. <laughs> how correct they were. Yeah, it took me a little while, but, you know, it – takes time to figure out what you really want to do yeah, exactly. it's worth it it's worth yeah. it so so were, your parents weren't living here when you decided to come to school here yet not at first okay. but they saw how nice it was down here you know we have all the islands the mm. golden isles is a beautiful, beautiful location place. and yeah. uh they came on down and <laughs> moved in down here <laughs> <laughs> they followed me but Heck yeah yeah now they we have a lot of the same friend group and uh they're pretty established down here they absolutely love it so <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we went to uh, their house for a big uh, anniversary slash birthday event i believe <laughs> it was it might have been lindy's oh yes pine, pine box trailers played it mm -hmm. was their anniversary mm -hmm. don't ask me exactly which one <laughs> Mom, yeah. don't kill me. <laughs> it was fun, though. It yeah, was fun. it was so much fun. She started getting scared when people were shooting off the fireworks because, you know, Mom, she's like, oh, God, don't burn the house down, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Her mom, if you've, uh, when you're on Facebook, uh, you'll see a daily story. Oh, yeah. little story reels, uh, and she puts out one every day. I don't think she's missed it unless she's. I wish she could manage my page for tattooing. Let's just say that she would do awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's she's a dancer, mm -hmm. and uh, she loves cooking too. So she puts a lot of those, mostly dancing, on her stories. But every now and then, it'll be a big. Uh, it's what we had for dinner today. You know, some dessert or something like that. Mm -hmm. Did you pick up either one of those tricks from her dancing and cooking? I cannot dance. <laughs> um, I can sing. I can paint. You can. Yeah, sing. I can do a lot of things, you but uh, <laughs> dancing's not really in my repertoire. But I will. You know, I will. Yeah. Especially if Little Willie, you know, wants to square dance a little bit, I'll I'll get out there and dance. <laughs> Absolutely. I need a lead. Okay. Little Willie is one of the uh, Boondocks characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patron. Uh, Stephen Donnell is his name. Everybody calls him Little Willie, I think, because he's got long gray hair and ponytail and uh, a beard. And uh, But he sings nothing but Bob Dylan and John yes. Prine. Everybody calls him Little Willie. <laughs> he loves when he gets a break and I can pop on there and do some Dylan on karaoke. Uh -huh. He loves it. But he's the only one that can get me on the dance floor. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, he's a ladies' man. Uh huh. Yeah. He's uh, something else. Yeah, he's he's smooth. Very smooth. I heard you sing, and I was impressed. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, dang. What's she saying? You in a band? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I'm don't down know to do what it, dog. It was, <laughs> but uh, it was just your voice was just incredible. Yeah, I uh, was in chorus all through high school. I was a soprano one, so um, I can sing a little lower, or decently high. So, um, and I classically trained piano growing up Catholic. So I had a mean lady teach me how to read music and play piano. So a lot of that translated later on into my life for a love of music. Awesome. Still, 
So. You still play piano? Oh, I can. Yeah. Pull one out. You know wow. what I mean? <laughs> so I'm actually trying to learn bass guitar right now, but it's a little hard. So. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you'll yeah. be in a, you'll be in a damn band. I would love. Before to. you know it. Shit, let's do all the things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Cross them off your list. That's yeah, right. dude. Keep it going. You know, is it about that time? What? I'm done putting off as long as I can. Yeah, I say, well, let's go ahead and get out there. Uh, well, I'm going to do this tail of the week then before we do the tattoo. Okay. You so should do I the tail of the week while you're getting the tattoo. Yeah, it'd be like, <laughs> did you notice that? Ow! I believe that uh, certain things or not. Ow! <laughs> You know, the uh, first event I ever went to is the Grim Parsons Festival in Waycross. When I got down here, I said, that looks pretty awesome. damn cool. And that's yeah. where I met, like, lifelong friends, you know. And that would have been what year? God, probably 2012 or 11. Okay. Yeah, yeah, way back when. Yeah, so, yeah. Really great time. I used to tell you who we had that year. Uh, but it all runs together. We're in our, we just had our 26th. Annual, so that's 26 of them to, to look back on. They've all been wow. fun, though. That's a lot. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. I was at every one of them. Yeah. yeah. Sean's been at every one of them. <laughs> I played at every one of them. The first one in the backyard when it was uh, just called the Griffin Guitar Pool. Very cool. We had about 30 people over, and they brought a little potluck, and we had some food. It was Thanksgiving weekend, and we had music on the back patio, and... It was uh, yeah, um, gravy. Yeah, my band Gravy. Gravy played that. <laughs> we got a little video of that too. You look like a young girl <laughs> in the video. <laughs> I look like an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right. So we got this little thing that we usually end every podcast with, called Uncle Dave's Tale of the Week, and. Uh, it's, uh, this one is, well, all about New Year's. But this will not be the end of the episode. We're going to, won't be the Dave's going to get a tattoo. No, it's not. He's getting ink. He's already come this far. He's not I backing down. Back he ain't turning back now. First tattoo at 70. Let's go. The incessant knocking on the front door of the first home that I had ever purchased was beginning to piss me off. It was the first day of 1993, and I'm sure I'd been out carousing the night before. I stumbled through the house that held many memories, once belonging to my old friend and next-door neighbor growing up on Dog Hill, James Cock. Opening the door, John Randall Smith and Billy Ray Heron burst inside, John waving a cassette tape wildly around with a big grin on his face. You got to hear this right now. Looking back, I'll have to say he was right. John and I had played in various bands all around the country from 76 up to now. We share the same irreverent sense of humor and have witnessed some classic comedic moments throughout our friendship. We're big fans of Andy and Barney's antics in Black and White Mayberry, and in many a late night or early morning motel room, we've laughed and cried watching Mo, Larry, and Curly the best assemblage that the Three Stooges ever committed to film. Growing up with movies and television in the 50s and 60s, we were rewarded by the zany film comedy of Jerry Lewis and the tremendous talents of Jackie Gleason and Red Skelton with their weekly TV shows. On CBS, Sunday night's Candid Camera, hosted by Alan Funt and sidekick Durward Kirby, was a step outside scripted humor and into the realm of the practical joke, which brings me to the reason for this story. Long before television, there was the telephone, and where there was a phone, there was certainly somebody on one end of the line willing to make someone on the other end the butt of a calculated practical joke. Thus the origins of the prank caller. We all practiced the prank call as kids. Hey, do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yes, we do. Well, you better let him out. Silly little kid stuff. As we grew older, we got a little braver. 
until we learned our lesson. As the art of the prank phone call advanced in the decades that followed, you may have heard of the Jerky Boys, Jim Florentine of the Crank Yankers, or Roy D. Mercer, a character cooked up by a couple of radio disc jockeys out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Jerry Lewis even had a penchant for pranking, recording a staggering 50 years' worth of calls. The best of the best, though, was John Bean, born in 1951 and diagnosed with cancer at the age of 18. After a heavy round of radiation treatments, his health improved over the next 10 years. Around 1980, the sickness returned. The doctors gave Bean only weeks to live, but he outlasted that diagnosis by four more years. Stuck at home, bored and unable to walk, John Bean started making prank calls and recording them. He would take on a variety of aliases, including Roy Mullins, Leroy Mercer, or Bill Morgan from just this side of Maynardsville. His sister Betty said that while making his prank calls, he often had a stopwatch running just to see how long it would take to make whoever he was talking to cuss. John Bean passed away on August 18, 1984, at the age of 33 due to respiratory failure brought on by the resurgent cancer. He's legendary for his comedy because it was totally unscripted and as real as it gets. He has legions of fans around the world, among them Jeff Foxworthy, who claims Bean's tape was a big influence on him. That tape has been recorded and re-recorded through the years, making its way into the hands and hearts of comedy lovers everywhere. It was especially well received in the law enforcement and musical communities. That original cassette tape with the three titles, Eddie's Auto, CNC, and Tom McCann's, is the holy trinity of prank phone calls. Thanks to John Randall Smith and Billy Ray Heron spreading the joy on New Year's Day of 1993, John Bean still lives on in my heart. Happy New Year, by God. Nice. <clears throat> I wish we'd had uh, a little section of that, uh, a little clip of that prank phone call tape. But uh, I encourage you to just go out there and Google it, YouTube it. Just type in John Bean, Eddie's Auto, and that'll get you started. You'll thank me for it later. And now... Where's the drum roll? <laughs> That's good. I hope you're uh, better at tattooing than you are at <laughs> drum rolls. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, I'd like to invite you all into my world, the tattoo parlor. All right. Let's go, Uncle Dave. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> So we have the lines in the stencil are going to be like purple, but I'll do each color mm -hmm. accoordinating to the uh, cross, <clears throat> the cross itself. It's actually Procreate and uh, it works really good for tattoos. Let me print out the jacket as well so I can see the sequence of colors I'm going to mess it up. Let's get rid of all these. Yeah, it makes it super easy for tattoos like this because you can get them perfect. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, so you, can you can use the symmetry and all that. And then print out your little reference. <coughs> Yeah, I didn't go too crazy into the stories. I figure if I ever do a deep water uh, podcast with y'all, is that what y'all call them? Deep water? <laughs> deep, deep in. Oh, deep in. Yeah, oh, that, <laughs> deep that makes water. sense. Yeah. Yeah, you need to come do one of those. Dude, I need to yeah. do a deep water bad. There was stuff that I wanted to say, but I was like, I don't know. Yeah, you can tell them there. We I got hella hell stories. Part. Hell of a lot of stories. Dave does his other tattoos. I think that's too big. Let's look at these other ones. Or you could do one in Dave's. You're saying. 
Yeah. That's real big, Dave. That's Hold real on. Big, That's Dave. real big, Dave. <laughs> Don't do that one. Real big, Dave. <laughs> See. It didn't look that big. See how it's here. That one's still a little big as well. I think. I think. Mm -hmm. We could either do this smaller one, or we could go in between those two. Okay. I think that actually fits. I think that's good. It fits your arm mm -hmm. nice. So. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm a wild boar with the scissors, so watch out. Got to be real Wee. good at cutting up around here. <laughs> This is our stencil machine. This is the process for stenciling. It's kind of cool. Dave's little tattoo, man. That's my stencil. Your stencil, buddy. <coughs> Trim it up nice so we can see what's going on here. that little piece, believe it or not. And for those of you who are uninformed, that is the back of Graham Parsons nudie suit from the late 60s. Originally made by the famous cowboy designer Nudie Cohen. I'm talking to the podcast. <laughs> And everybody knows that I'm a big Graham Parsons aficionado. Aficionado. All right, now we now. need the subject. I'm going to have you stand up for the stencil day. So okay. Get, it, get your body nice and even. And you turn towards me. Perfect. Glove up. I got to wear gloves? No. Tattooing's not as crude now as it used to be. Alcohol, it's going to be a little bit cold, okay? okay. Get all around this area that we're going to be in. Harry, ain't it? Yeah, we're going to have to take some of this off, buddy. Strong. Getting thirsty? <laughs> nope. Oh, alcohol, I get it. <laughs> My arm is in your hands. I got you, bud. <laughs> Skin it back. Yes, it's a lot. He's going to have to grow this back over the next few weeks. Well, there must be truth to that old wives' tale. What is it? What's the wife still? <laughs> what is the wife still? What is the wife still you're talking well, the about? The more you uh, pleasure yourself. Uh, <laughs> he was trying to keep it. Uh, the, uh, the worse your eyesight be and uh, your hair starts coming off. Right. Oh, it look, reminds me of when I was 10. <laughs> <clears throat> Fat lady walked into a tattoo parlor. The tattoo uh, artist says, I don't know where to start with you.
Okay. So we're gonna take this uh, aquasonic. Aquasonic. It's ultrasound jelly. The ladies will know what this is. That's what they use to uh, look at the fetus. Yes. <laughs> Do a fetus have feet? <laughs> Does he got any fetus in there now that you can see? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a first. I have, first time's at second skin. I have no tattoos yet <laughs> that I know of. Do it inverted. <laughs> we'll be inverted to him. <laughs> but technically, it's, it's just the proper way to tattoo it, the mm -hmm. way we're looking at it. That's where you, when you show it off, uh, look at there. I don't know what to do in here. Mm -hmm. See, Dad, that didn't hurt at all. Okay. okay. I bet you didn't think it'd be that fast. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's good. Mm hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. Register. I'll be honest with you, I'd probably bring it over. And look at this right here. That way here? Mm -hmm. Bring it over just a little bit that way. To the left, correct? You got a boomerang arm, my friend. You got one. Yes, of those. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I actually practiced growing it that way. <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably bring it over where it's aimed more down the middle finger. Yeah. Like I would, I would take right here and just put it right, your finger right there. Let me bring her about like uh, a few like millimeters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Thank you, sir. I mean, it takes a lot of hard work to grow a boomerang arm. So. <laughs> you gotta make sure you tattoo it. I've never heard that about my arms before. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Well, this comes back to you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really clean now, Dave. You ain't kidding. The second skin, talk about no skin after we're done this thing. Hold on. <laughs> A little more feet of jelly. Mm hmm. Bony Tony. This is about to be awesome. Mm-hmm. I ain't a, I ain't gonna know how to act. Boy, you're gonna be a new man, Uncle Dave. Finger check. Mm -hmm. I think that's perfect. Yeah, like it. Boomerang arm, folks. Mm hmm. All right, we gotta let it dry about 10 minutes. It'll be good. <coughs> <laughs> what?
Well, uh, I'll just uh, tell you every tattoo joke that I know. <laughs> Husband and wife had been married for years and years, and every birthday, he he was this huge Beach Boys fan, and every birthday, she bought him something related to the Beach Boys, and uh, after 30 years of marriage, there was like, he had everything, you know, and uh, so she was really searching hard for something that he did not have, and she passed by a tattoo parlor downtown, and she thought, ah, there's an idea. And uh, so she went inside and asked the guy there, said, uh, Beach Boys. And he said, well, that's going to be about, you know, $300. It's a little more than I planned on spending. How about if you just do B-B and tattoo it? One B here and one B there. On the cheeks, my ass. And uh, so she gets home later that evening with her gift. And he's laying in bed reading. She steps out of the bathroom, gets at the foot of the bed, bends over like this, says, happy birthday, honey. He looks up from his book and says, who the hell's Bob? <laughs> Add that in post production. <clears throat> this one is really on a whim. <laughs> This is a, I changed my design last night, Wim. <laughs> what was the what was the design before that? Skin it back? No, uh, we had been talking about Cosmic Rose. And uh, he woke up today and he said, I might get divorced next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cosmic Rose is, is my wife's Let's nickname. It's my wife's nickname, or that's the... Yeah. The her the name of her uh, uh, her artist name. When she's she's an artist and she vends at the festival, she calls her vending tent uh, Cosmic Rose. You were going to get the words, or you were going to get? A I don't know. I think I didn't know. This, I woke up today and I thought, I want something that is more, uh, something that is relative to my interests, you know. Not that my wife's not interesting, <laughs> but uh, something that uh, I identify with. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of just popped in my head and I thought. twenty. Six years of Graham Parsons. 26 years of Graham Parsons. When you count 73 is when I first discovered him, so that's 50 years yeah. of knowing about him. And, uh, and uh, 26 years of honoring him in a music festival. <clears throat> so I felt like this was a good move. I was just worried that you might not think it was not a good move. I think it's a great move. <clears throat> the machine's a little noisy. Oh. It's kind of like a lawnmower. Okay. <laughs> right now, we're just going to put a little line right there to show you what it's like. Okay. And we'll outline your cross. <laughs> Hopefully you don't just get the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Good Southern Christian band. Yeah. That daddy would be proud. <laughs>
Especially when, especially when you can smell it. Especially, yeah. especially when they start pulling that nerve out. Bone dust. Yeah. All right. Let's see your arm. I'm going to keep it kind of like that. Right. You tell me if you need a break, okay? Okay. Break. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and try not to move around. This, yeah. this body part. Okay. But you're doing good. You're doing good. Put a little line in. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> was that bad? Huh? Was that bad? A little bit. Well, it's uh, it ain't it ain't so bad as as it is uh, <coughs> steady. <laughs> <laughs> steady dog. <laughs> that. Okay. It's gonna look really nice. Um, um, Just think about writing a song right now. Um, Jesus Christ. It is a cross. This, I'll tell you folks, this feels like a, uh, <laughs> about a 20 pound mosquito <laughs> that is not letting up. Going up by a mosquito. You know, you know how you can slap a mosquito and he'll quit? If you slap this mosquito, he'd slap you back. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what he feels like. Yeah, I can't wait till it's through. All right, I'm on. So such a wavy man. You sure picked a lot of straight lines, dude. <laughs> what is a wavy man? Wavy man. <laughs> a wavy man has boomerang arms. They always keep coming back. My arm ain't never left. <laughs> my, not, my arm ain't always right. My boomerang arms are always coming back to me empty handed. <laughs> Tell you what, and this is not the most sensitive part of your body. Think about them other parts. Uh, Think about good Lord. Parts, now I'll tell the joke. What joke? <laughs> Husband and wife just got married. We're spending their honeymoon in uh, Jamaica. Uh, Steve and Wendy were their name. And uh, first day they spent down there, they went casually taking in the streets of uh, what? Philadelphia. Nassau? Is that Jamaica? That's some damn straight lines. Uh, I forgot we were in Jamaica. Well, they went. Kingston, they were walking down Kingston doing some <clears throat> some uh, shopping, you know, getting them some memorabilia for their honeymoon trip, and uh, they passed by a tattoo parlor, and he says, uh, I'm going to do something for you I've never done for anybody, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. To prove my love for you is forever, I'm going to get your name tattooed on my penis. Now, I know that had to sting. <laughs> but he suffered through it. Am I looking at that camera? Okay. And, uh. Okay. I'm just examining with my little tattoo eye. And uh, so, you know, as all tattoos, it takes a couple of days to really, you have to baby it and keep, stay out of the sun and keep that 
jelly on it or something, right? Yeah. Cream or something. Some sort of cream. Yeah. So he did that, and then after it was good and ready, they went down to uh, the nudist beach for some afternoon drinks and sunshine. And they were laying out there in their chairs. And <clears throat> If you've never been to a nudist beach, well, pretty much uh, you're not walking around, even though there's nudes all around you, you're not walking around with a raging <laughs> boner. <laughs> In fact, it's just flaccid. And uh, so he looks over at Wendy and he says, uh, honey, are you thirsty? She says, yeah, I want a Big old pina colada. He said, I'll be right back. He moseys on up to the Tiki Hut bar and standing there ordering some drinks for him and this big uh, Rastafarian walks up with dreads and he's naked too. And... Uh, and uh, old Steve happens to glance down at his private and, and uh, being flaccid, you know, Steve's uh, tattoo says uh, W-Y instead of Wendy because it's flaccid, right? All you can see is the W and the Y, the first and last letter. <laughs> and he glances down at the Rastafarian and sees a big W-Y on his. And he says, oh, hey, we got the same tattoo. He says, mine says Wendy in honor of my new bride. What does yours say? He says, oh, mine says, welcome to the island. Hope you have a nice stay. Folks, it's coming along real good. <laughs> Do you want the inside filled in red? Oh, I have to say yes. Yeah? That's going to be even more pain, though, ain't it? A little bit. Mm. Yeah. Won't take that long. You got a, just like a, a, a big needle that covers a lot of like a skin. <laughs> you do? Yes. Oh, great. Like color in, color in, color in the spaces. There we go. There's the red. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Got to get it true. All right, we're going to color in the inside. Okay. And then we're going to do the rest of our lines because believe it or not, this blue awesome. pigment is lighter than that red. Okay. You have to go dark to light or else they'll mix in your skin. Ew. A little bit. That sounds nasty. It is muddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the big. Uh... It sounds bigger. <laughs> Folks, this is real blood. <laughs> It is. This is this is cool. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. I can't even feel my hand. As long as the black lines on the cross came out perfect, I don't care what happens. It's hard. It's always a little nerve wracking doing all the straight lines. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be filled in in no time, buddy. Mm -hmm. Check in on that. Are you doing all the different color rays or just cool? Yeah, we are. 
Got uh, yellow and blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow and blue. So what's worse, this or your uh, root canal? Oh, this is much worse. It is? Yeah. That root canal. Was, uh, of course, I like pain. I know. I've never uh, shied away from pain. Right, you must have a uh, you gotta get in and out. fetish for. Uh... <laughs> Not really. Masochism. You I, must have a masochistic I streak in you. A lot to the clients. I'm, like, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Take a long time to get over that feeling bad about it. Well. Like you say, you can't be, uh... You can't be pussyfooting around. <clears throat> you want to stop, Dave? You want to stop Where now? is the most sensitive place? Taint. My stomach. <laughs> stomach. Stomach. Well, you see, the most popular is the tramp stamp. Is that, that is that a pretty safe area back there? That hurts. That would hurt. That hurts. Okay. What about the bottom of your feet? That's got to be sensitive. Your feet would. Be, that would be awful. I have the awful. palm, the palm of my hand. That hurts. Tongue. Yeah, that hurts. I don't have the bottom of my feet. I don't think I'll ever get it. But never say never, right? That's right. Folks. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. It ain't easy. Mm -mm. But it's well worth it. And once we get this knocked out, you'll be smooth sailing. We just and I've always one. heard that once you get one, you want another one. Some people just don't stop. They just... Like me. <laughs> no turning back now. You think you're going to want another one, Dave? Right now, no. I'll give it some time to sink in. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. What yeah. Design. Yeah. It's one thing that I always... Thought I'd never do. I, mean, it's a, I just never really entertained the idea. Of course, I never thought I'd ever go to Hawaii either. And we did. <laughs> Hawaii, Hawaii didn't hurt like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you faint, it'll make for good for a good podcast. It sure is something else. If you faint and fall out, <laughs> that's good television. No, it's not that bad. It's not good. It's good Just they think did about say that. The wrist area is one of the worst spots for men. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, but I didn't want to tell you beforehand. It's scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I figured we'd just let it ride. Well, I'm going to wear this proud now. I'm going to show this thing off.
tell people. You know, it's what? equivalent to that when you go get something froze off your head. <laughs> 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 you know, they start, at first it's kind of pleasant, you know, right. and then he just leaves it and leaves it and leaves it. Then you start, uh, your leg starts moving towards the door. He said, quit. And uh, the worst part about that freezing, though, is when it numbs out after about five minutes, you're talking about some pain then. Is it a burning feeling? Huh? Is it a burning feeling? Feeling? Yeah, it's a burning kind of uh, uh, the, the spray on when you get... You, yeah, the head thing. Yeah, the head, you get the skin tags taken off. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's uh, cold as hell, and it's and it starts burning. Yeah, it starts burning the longer that thing is held in one place on your head. It feels a lot like this. Hmm. You know what feels worse? Childbirth. Tattoo removal. Oh, really? What do you have to do to do that? Laser. Laser beam. Laser beam. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it. I've seen the videos of that. I mean, it's cool. I'll keep all my stupid tattoos. Right. Right. <clears throat> I agree. Cover-ups take a really good eye for the uh, artist, right? Yeah. They got to be able to see in advance what what's what they're going to cover, mm -hmm. how they're going to cover it. A friend of mine. And colors, uh, and layers. Cover ups are hard. I don't. I say no to a lot of them. I break hearts. Yeah, a friend of mine. Want, he he had a, something on his arm. <clears throat> He wanted me to draw a cover up for it. I was like, I don't even tattoo, dude. Like, you don't want me to do it. I don't know what's going to cover and what's not going to cover. Well, you're having to use the existing artwork. But you're, yeah. In your cover up. But right. you've, you've got to have it. Some of it, some of have it the may end up of showing. What, what's going to show through. What's yeah. Gonna, I told him he should come to you, though, Larissa. But you're saying you don't do a lot of them, do you? No, I don't do a lot of them, unless it's like a small, simple, simple cover-up. Looks pretty good. That's bruises, folks. <laughs> we want to keep our purple. That looks great. Ooh, Sweetie, son. Dang. We'll get rid of that later. We've got to do our color. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have all the red completed in the design so far. One, two, three, four, blue. five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Blue, blue, one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's three blue up here, and I stencil oh, three shit. down here, but it just needs two. So I'm going to just do that. Just tattoo two. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. I two blues. Early. I was like, whoa, can't do that. got to get it right. Mm. Yeah. Ready for some blue? Mm. Go, son. 
Blue don't hurt near as bad as red did. Oh, whatever. Does it taste like blueberry? Two at the base, and then three up top. Three? Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, three, three in the line. Yeah, in yeah. the line. I had to pay attention. There were two in the line right there, but yeah, I had to jump. You're, yeah. you're on the job. Yeah, baby. I ain't going to let this get messed up for you, Dave. I can see a Graham Parsons fan now coming up. So That's what I'm you got saying. too many lines in that. That's what I'm saying. We can't do that. <laughs> I can have it perfect. <laughs> yeah, what a fan you are. It would be a grand shame if you messed it Three up. Three blue lines, you fucking kidding me, man? I bet you spell his name like the cracker. Graham. Graham. And then there's two on the side. Mm hmm. I got an email the other day from a, a, a booking agent out of Nashville uh, pushing a couple of bands out of Athens for the Grand Parsons, or actually either festival. And <clears throat> one of them's uh, the Pink Stones. Yeah. And one of them's D.O.G. I don't know D.O.G. He said that they are big Graham fans, but he spelled Graham with an H. <laughs> but he, he, he lives uh, two houses down from Phil Kaufman. Okay. I guess they make up for you, right? <laughs> you know who that is? Yeah. <laughs> Phil Kaufman was Graham's road manager. And uh, they made a pact with one another at uh, at a funeral of a friend. It's a Catholic funeral, so it was very uh, staid. Oh yeah. Very. Looks like there's two right there. Yeah. Is that yellow. Yeah. 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 You're on the last one. And they made a pact at his funeral that if either one of them were to die before the other, that the other would take them out to Joshua Tree Desert and cremate their body in the desert. I saw that he died in the desert. <laughs> what the hell? That's so funny. Well, he did die that night. He was on, on a little uh, recreational trip right. right before his tour started, and he stayed at the Joshua Tree Inn mm -hmm. and overdosed. And so he was, his remains were sitting in a coffin at Los Angeles International Airport waiting to be flown to New Orleans where his stepfather lived. And old Phil Kaufman was pacing the floor back into at home saying, I promised him, I promised him, I promised him. Oh, Finally... <laughs> <clears throat> he picks up the phone and calls his, a buddy of his that had an old hearse. And it was a hippie hearse. It had <laughs> flowers and stuff painted all over it. <laughs> he says, can you come by and pick me up? I got a mission to complete. And so him and that guy drove to the L.A. airport in that hippie hearse and went to where they hold the, the dead bodies and uh, walked in there and said, we're here to pick up the Parsons corpse. Uh, uh, change of plans. And they said, oh, well, we, we just can't. Listen, are you going to let me do this or not? The family's waiting. <laughs> and he flustered the old boy so bad that he just shoved the keyboard in front of him and said, sign here. What do you think, Dave? 
badass. <laughs> I do. I love it. It's awesome, right? It's me, really pretty. <laughs> let me turn my boomerang arm around. <laughs> nice. Yee! You did it. Yeah, I definitely want to grab a picture of it. It looks so mm -hmm. nice. That's badass. That is bad fucking ass. Here, let me wipe it so Sean mm -hmm. can see it not bloody. Cool. Mm, I think it's cool. Clean. Man, uh, I'm jealous. <laughs> you want one? <laughs> That's super cool. Oh, y'all can get matching one. That'd be cute. Yeah. Burger. That's awesome. That thing looks crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Lift it up here and let me grab a quick photo before we doctor okay. it up. Usually I say no to color outline because they don't really hold that well. Right. But since it's more of an accent, you can get away with it yeah. and have the cross in black. Mm -hmm. so. You can always touch it up. I think it's in there. I yeah. put it in there. <laughs> oh, she was, she, yeah. was, she was digging. Yeah, dog. It's it's good. <laughs> Like be there for an eternity. Wow. It even it's looks pretty, like right? it's it looks like it's raised. It is. It it'll just, just swell <laughs> up. Uh, it'll it'll that'll, right? that'll yeah, go down. It'll swell a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Tomorrow this yellow will look really bright. It won't look so bloody. And uh mm -hmm. it'll look calmed down. It'll look mm -hmm. really nice. The next so day is always the best. Yeah. What do I do for caretaking? I'm going to go over that after okay. I doctor you up because right. I don't want you to get lost in translation. Okay. Let's put a little bit of A and D on it for right now. A and D. I'm actually going to grab a quick photo myself, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Lift your arm up. I'm putting this under it for contrast. Beautiful. Yeah, here it is. <coughs> There's all these crevices in here that I lose everything. Let's wipe that yellow one more time. Sorry. Your boomerang arm. Hold on. Damn <laughs> boomerang arm. That is awesome, Dave. Thank you. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. You can okay. lift up for a second. Wrap it up. Get this out of your way. I'll take it. <laughs> Hold it up right here in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you have to say about it? <laughs> I like it here. <laughs> Give off and look back where you were. All's ask is that he hasn't shown me uh, wrapping the tattoo. What's that? I said all's ask is that he hasn't shown me wrapping the tattoo because I'm horrible at it. <laughs> I'll wrap the tattoo to some sort. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, if you need some better light, he can tilt <coughs> up under there. But. Uh, we need to uh, do a sign off too after we wrap this. finish. Yeah, we'll do Let's that. Get this all this. Yeah. We'll airing all that out in the world. <laughs> See, Don't fall I'm not no good at this shit. Oh, no. Now you, you tell it. It's usually in a box. <coughs> this one lost the box, and I didn't want to be cruel, so I took it. Or if it gets smushed a little bit, that's always Could tough. you do me a favor and cut, cut down towards this away? Right here? Yeah, that's perfect. Hold that corner for a second. Like, yeah. Thank you. So it doesn't do the. Did it hurt worse than you thought? The non-contaminated. Oh, I can't cut. No, I figured there was going to be some uh, uh, annoying pain. Annoying. I figured it was going to be annoying. Mm -hmm. You know. Now just hold it off the armrest because I don't want to get okay. your blood on this. That blood everywhere else. Does that make sense? Let me put some. Uh, what blood? Tape. You know. You're that's you open. Cheese, that's pretty much an open wound right now. <laughs> for a little bit, for a couple, about a week or two. Yeah, two weeks. Well, about a week they're open. I'd say. Right. Yeah, four days, four or five days it'll be 
He said soak it in yeah. cider. But I don't think that's what he meant. If you want to heal it instantly, do this. Right. You can, you're free course. to move around. Take your time standing up. Oh you've yeah, God. you've been sitting Whoa. there. Jesus Christ. Oh, you've my been God. Sitting there and you did really good. Take you some steps. Yeah, you did good. I didn't know if you were going to have to stop in between all I know. that. Even I was though, like, oh, my God. So, well, yeah, like I say, good. I have a high, uh, uh, high tolerance. Yeah. He has a high luxury. I have a high tolerance for pain and a low tolerance for assholes. What you're going to do is leave that wrap on until you get back away from it. Okay. So you got to leave that on for a couple hours and then... Uh, Hand soap that's unscented. <coughs> yep, and you'll yep. wash it twice a day with that hand soap. Hang on, you want me? I have a list of everything you need to print it out and ready to go. There yeah, we just go. do that. I, I tell you the instructions, but I also have it written very well for you that you can okay. see. Okay. That sounds good. If you don't follow the instructions right, they have to take your arm off. Now you know that it's gonna. There's a stage where it peels a little bit, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm yeah. talking about. The scabs peels, up and stuff. The scabs a tiny bit. Don't, Don't peel that off. Don't mess with it. Let it peel. Because if you pick that off, it'll kind of take the color out. I know it's tempting, and I've scratched my tattoos myself. Mm -hmm. They're itchy. Really? Once it gets like to mine. that stage, it's itchy. And it's so hard <clears throat> not to itch it that you just pat it mm -hmm. with a clean hand. Oh. Okay. And if you'll let this, you know, the red might stab up a little bit. Everything else should be fine. But if you let it do its thing, it'll reveal a beautiful tattoo underneath it. It's just going to look rough. Probably day six or seven. So by Friday and Saturday when I'm gigging. What's it going to look like? Uh, Let's see, what's today? Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. And you got it on your guitar. Right <coughs> uh, -oh, uh oh, shit. No, the guitar. This sits on the uh, guitar. It'll be all right. Yeah, there's a space there. It's better than that by Friday right. and Saturday, anyways. That'll give it time to close up. <laughs> I'm going to see. Well, I wouldn't do it right now, bloody. Yeah, that's <laughs> You can if you want. Uncle Bloody. <clears throat> oh, shit, I forgot the arm. I ain't going to scrum. Oh, yeah, I got a little bit of that on there. It'll miss. You good. Anyone have the time? Out of curiosity? 
can't ever jack it off. I'm going to the drunken noodles. Yeah, definitely. You don't want a drunken noodles. I might <laughs> act up. The brutal noodles. I might get in a fight, <coughs> fight with somebody, and that'd Did be the first place they'd hit me. Me and Dave are together. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, y'all got a big van or something? Party van. Party, Party van. van. Let me see. <laughs> That's like what I envisioned you guys pulling up. That's not bad. That's like that. mystery machine. Kate in. Dave Juice. Yep. That ain't no good. <laughs> you need to go to the clinic. That ought to. Uh, Dave Juice make a girl feel happy. Silver cow. Silver cow. Silver cow. For a bar. Silver cow skull. Silver steer. The silver skull bar. A horse pistol. But make it look like a hospital. What do y'all do for the sign off? Oh, what is this town have? No. What she does? Well, it's official. Dave's a heathen. <laughs> I'm no longer a virgin. I just ruined Dave's life. In fact, quite the opposite. I think she has made my right boomerang arm look better than it ever has. And why I waited 70 years to do this, I'll never know. So I could do your tattoo. I had to wait on the right person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we want to thank you all for watching this uh, New Year's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time. Yes, thank you all so much for watching. And be sure to check out our shop, Second Skin Tattoo in Kingsland, Georgia. So y'all give it up for Larissa. Thanks, Larissa. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. We appreciate Absolutely. you. Thank you for having me. It was my pleasure. We'll see y'all next time. When the cold black water finds its way across through your vein It just might seal your fate It just Just my see your face.